through films and screenings, a centenary celebration. Born in 1923, this year, 2023 marks, 100 years, the year of Moses Mabida. We are celebrating the life of this outstanding leader, Moses Mabida. On this, the 29th day of March 1986, history places on our shoulders the responsibility of paying tribute to this patriot, Comrade Moses Mabida, who died in Maputo, Mozambique, on Saturday, March the 8th, 1986, at 10 a.m. <laughs> Your Excellency, Comrade Samuel Michel, the leaderships of Frelimo and the National Liberation Movements of South Africa, distinguished mourners, Comrades and friends, with grief and sorrow, we find ourselves here assembled on the Mozambican soil to put to rest the remains of one of the outstanding leaders of our time, a revolutionary patriot who dedicated his life in the struggle for the cause of national and social em emancipation of our country. <laughs> The message from the UDF, which is more or less partly a personal tribute to our beloved comrade Moses Mabida, I know that he received his early education in Peter Marisberg, and that one of his teachers was a beloved comrade of ours, Mr. Harry Guala, a member of the Communist South African Communist Party, who is presently serving a life sentence on Robben Island on account of his ill activities against the South African regime. After he left school, he became employed as a shop assistant and a clerk. So we have him first of all as a worker. While he was so employed, he became a member of the Peter Meritzberg branch of the African National Congress. And Shortly after that, he became an assistant secretary and later he became the branch secretary, a position which he held until he left Peter Marisberg to take up employment as a trade unionist in Durban. 
While he was in Durban, he became the Assistant Secretary of the African National Congress in Natal province, and later became the Deputy President of the African National Congress in Natal. The President at the time was Chief, the late Chief A.J. Lutuli, Nobel Peace Prize winner, noble son of Africa. Comrade Moses Mabida. Was an ordinary man. He was just a worker. Just as millions of workers. He was a worker oppressed by racism. Forced to carry a pass. Cruelly exploited. And unable to provide the necessities of life for his beloved ones. Because he was so poorly The racists hate South African communists with a special venom. And to discredit what we stand for, they spread the myth that communists are a strange people from far away places who import foreign ideas from Europe which are dangerous for Africa. And comrades, the answer to all these outpourings lies before us in this coffin. Comrade Baba Mabida, the leader of South Africa's communists, personified the real essence of our land and its people. Comrade Mabida saw in our militant working class the key force in the alliance of classes which faces the enemy. And his name has now been indelibly added to the list of revolutionary giants like Albert and Zula, Johannes and Corsi, Moses Katani, J.B. Marx, Yusuf Dadu, Brown Fisher, and many others who took the same path. For them, 
liberation was much more than the raising of a new flag, the singing of a new anthem, and the allocation of political jobs to a small group of exploiters with black faces. They believed, these communist revolutionaries, that there could be no real liberation without a return of our country's wealth to the people and without attacking racism at its roots, which is economic exploitation of the colonized working majority. And they understood always the indispensable role of the African National Congress as the mass revolutionary national movement which stands unchallenged at the head of our whole liberation front. And comrades, it is this pattern born and developed in our own South African conditions which laid the foundation of the alliance between the African National Congress and the South African Communist Party. And this alliance has been further cemented by the life work of our departed leader and it expresses the indivisible link in our conditions between the class and the national struggle. Comrades, more than anything else, the enemy would like to drive a wedge between the African National Congress and the South African Communist Party. And the answer to the enemy's maneuvers is being given by the masses in Kradok, in Mamalodi, in Guguletu, in Soweto, in Alexandra Township, and in other centers of conflict where, side by side with the ANC flag, the workers and youth are defiantly also raising the red flag of our party. And comrades, the news of this filled Comrade Mabida's eyes with tears of joy in the last days of his life. After all, at one stage or another, Comrade Mabida was almost everything that the people were. A trade union organizer who grew into a trade union leader. A worker who joined the political vanguard of the working class and became his general secretary. <coughs> An African who saw the need to mobilize the nation and who received recognition as one of the top leaders of the African National Congress. A participant in the defiance campaign, in the great mass struggles of the 50s, in the underground. A man of peace who eventually concluded that the nation must now wield its spear and he became a soldier and a popular political commissar of Mkonto Wesizwe. We who have walked with giants know that Moses Mbeki Mabida belonged in that company too. We who have filed among the ranks know that he was, a, he was proud to count himself a foot soldier. A colossus because he was supremely human. Moses Mabida has departed from our midst. He rose through the ranks of the Communist Party to become its general secretary. While he served as vice president of the South African Congress of Trade Unions. This combination of functions in one leader of our people upset our adversaries because it reflected the permanence and acceptability among our people of the idea and the practice of the unity of the revolutionary democratic, the socialist, and the trade union movements in the South African struggle for national liberation. 
Moses Mabida could take no other position because he had learned and absorbed the lesson passed on to him and to us by the late Chief Albert Lutuli. We can never be defeated. defeated. We cannot. We, we cannot but be victorious. Moses Mabida lives. The struggle continues. Victory is assured. Amanda! 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 Of the entire Mozambican state and people, we are bidding farewell to a man who combined the finest qualities of a patriot and combatant for the cause of his revolutionary people. Moses Mapida remains with us as a symbol of the highest values of the struggle of the African peoples, the workers of the whole world, and the worldwide revolution. Moses Mapida was born in a society dominated by racism, oppression, and brutal and unbridled exploitation, like the vast majority of the South African people. From the moment of his birth, he suffered the situation of a man denied all rights, of a citizen without the right to a country, of a persecuted person inspired his thinking. Moses Mabida lives part of his life in Mozambique. He chose to spend his last days with us. He preferred to stay here in a free country close to his own. He was denied his land while he lived, and it is denied to him after his death. But he will not be laid to rest in a foreign land. Mozambique, too, is his country. Our grief over his passing is shared with the grief of his wife, Mama Lena. To the bereaved family, we offer our deepest condolences. Aluta continua. Aluta continua. Aluta continua. Aluta continua. Inde pena so morte. Inde pena so morte. Inde pena so morte. Obrigado, Ani. Ultima conferência. Presentar. Ultima conferência.